I am here um, in the studio office, excited to have Miss Maxine. Oh my God, I'm so happy to have you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's so good to be here, Dr. Nikki. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is the power of Summit. It's all about the power of Summit. You are one of the speakers to be there. Listen, if you have not registered, July the 14th through the 18th, it's going to be, you're going to miss out on some, some treats. We have Chrisette Michelle will be there. We'll, we have Kim um, Coles will be there from Living Single. We got Tamika from Escape. She's speaking. Lisa Nichols. We want to give a shout out to Kern Cherry for making all this happen. Dynamic speakers from all over the world. I'm going to be there. Maxine's going to be there. Listen, it's all about to go down on this day, the 14th through the 18th of this month. If you have not registered, it's absolutely free and tuned to what God is doing. So let us go ahead and welcome Maxine to the show. We're excited to have her on the broadcast. Maxine, tell the people who you are. Thank you, Dr. Nikki, and thank you for having me. It's so good to be here. And again, shout out to the visionary uh, Karen Cherry for having this whole Power Up Summit. My name is Maxine L. Johnson, and I am the founder and CEO of Wife Boss Academy, where I coach women who are in a position of power to gain confidence, to have harmony, influence, and to get clarity in their purpose so that they can go to the next level in their career. As, as well, well in their, their relationships. Family. So thank you for having me. Listen, this show is about to be on and popping. <laughs> on and popping. And we got beautiful Maxine in the building. Listen, I've been interviewing people all week, all kind of beautiful women, talking about their destiny, telling us to be authentic, authentically us, be transparent in what God has called us to do and be, because we have to learn how to trust the process. We already know God has the plans for our life. You and I both know this. Come on now. So with that being said, you know, you're going to be there speaking. Is this your first time speaking on this platform? No, actually, I spoke on the platform before with the, uh, I think it was the, you know, the, it was a, oh my goodness, I'm blanking right now. Was but the level up? Not the level up. It was the women's. Yes, yes. It was one of those summits. So I am excited. I love what Karen does. So I'm excited yes. to be here on this platform to power up because that's what it's all about, powering up. And how do we power up? And so I won't go there. You know, the whole thing about powering up is when we know, and I want to you demonstrate my cell phone, when we know that our cell phones are dying, what we do, we go run and find a charger, right? And we run and find a charger so that it can get powered, right? And so that's why I always encourage, you need to sign up for the Power Up Summit because all of these speakers have something that's going to energize and that's going to charge you up. So the whole theme about Power Up is so exciting to me. So if you have not registered, you got to register for Power Up so you can get powered so that you can be fully charged to walk in your purpose. And you know what? I'm stealing it. I'm stealing it, Maxine. You got it, you got it Queen. <laughs> I'm stealing it. Queen. Let yeah. me it steal it. We iron sharpens iron. So that's what the Bible says. Iron sharpens iron. And that's what we do. Go ahead. You got it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> My God, that was good, Maxine. So, and you're from Philadelphia, correct? I am. I'm from Philadelphia and uh, I'm a pastor as well. So I am a pastor and uh, I am an HR professional. So I'm HR leader. So I, I'm what we call bivocational. So I pastor and I am an HR manager in a major uh, hospital in, a Phil in Philadelphia. And so with that, I'm married. I'm a wife. Uh, and so I am also an entrepreneur. And she's a transformational coach. I know that because I read up on I'm like, come on, coach. Put me in, coach. Put me in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's about him. It's about him. We know that. Exactly. We know. 
And everything we do is based on biblical principles, right? And so that's what makes it transformative. It's all based on biblical principles. Not that so when you do everything and based on physical biblical principles, you can't go wrong. You can't wow. go wrong. You can't wow. go wrong. This is good, girl. This is so good. I'm so happy to meet you. You know what? It's so crazy because I looked at your picture. And when I saw you, I said, you know, something about you. I said, you know what? So, this is going to be a good interview. It's going to be. And the devil tried. He tried it. He tried. Girl, look, hold, look, it's, that's what it's all about. We got to keep pushing, man. Because yeah. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, my God, it's not working. I can't hear you. And you know what? And you said, so you like, you know what? The devil don't want this. But you know what? We kept going. We didn't stop. I don't pull my cell phone up. And I was recording from the cell phone. And then all of a sudden. You start talking on my laptop. I was like, okay, so let me put this down. Let's let's get into this thing. Listen. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. <laughs> so is it cold in Philadelphia? Is it cold up there? Actually, it is a little chilly. We went through a heat wave. So it felt like we were in uh, the deep south um, for a little bit. Um, but now it's as some would say it's a little chilly so we're probably in the mid 70s and it's so to me it's wonderful because that extra, that extra heat of 103 and 101 and 90 something was just way too much and so uh right now is a comfortable comfortable 70 something let me see 75 degrees right now <laughs> yeah i actually came up there before um i actually tried you know your philly cheese you know your philly cheese steak i found i finally tried one i came up there a couple years ago really and i was like yeah i was like okay Philly, it's real small i thought it was bigger than that i thought it was gonna be this big city but it's not it's, it's not that big it's huge it, philly goes from it, it it's bigger so you probably were in the city but i'm so it ranges all the way so many different neighborhoods within the city of philadelphia Ooh, so okay. next time you come you have my phone number yes, you, I do. so you call me and say i'm in philadelphia let and then we can t we could just go and i'll show you how wide it is and how long it is and so we have wow. neighborhoods from south philadelphia all the way up to the northeast so it's a it's a pretty big city yeah wow so and so how did you meet kern what we so how did you how did you say you met kern just you know when you when i started my speaking business so it, let me just back up so i've been speaking you know as a pastor as a minister even before i became a pastor as a minister i've been speaking at women's conferences in churches and what i was doing was i wanted to get outside of the church walls because i believe that ministry is also in other and other avenues yes, and so um I had a, I have a wonderful coach, um, Dr. Sonia Stribling is my is my coach, and so she kind of helped me navigate um, on how to get out there and all of that. So what happened? I when I started finding out about different conferences outside of my colleagues who have church conferences, that's how I found out about Karen Cherry and all of the wonderful things she does for women. I know she put things together. She's like the networker. So I got in and when I found that it was a women's success conference. That's the, that yeah, was the it's beautiful. Yes. And when I found out about it and all that she did and all of that, I kind of stay connected to her work. So that's yes. how it, and, and so it's just been wonderful. And I've been following her and following her work since then. Wow. So what are you? So so what's the name of your topic? What's the name of the topic that you'll be speaking on? Sure. It's it's called it's leveraging leadership. How five strategies on how to be uh, a leader in the workplace and a team member at home. More prone for women uh, who are in leadership. Again, as a female, I wear a lot of leadership hats and I found myself I'm married and um uh, Found myself trying to be the boss at home. Of course, faith based. I believe the husband is the head, okay. and uh, I was trying to wear the pants and telling him, and you know, <laughs> yes. Look, it's a process, girl. I be tell. Look, I, look, I'm a pastor's wife, so I understand. It's Let's, a serious matter. That's a serious matter. <laughs> Dr. Dickey, I you, was just, you, know, you know why? Because we're so used to being in charge at our workplace. We're used to being exactly. in charge of decisions that we don't know how to drop it down and when we get home transition into submit a wife let him lead okay baby you got this well if you ain't gonna do it i'm gonna do it you know move out the way so you know and which is out of order that's definitely out of order the man's supposed to be the head of the house so yeah i totally get it you know i still i'm i'm much my second marriage i'm way much better than i was in the first marriage because my first marriage oh baby thanks you probably thought I was Jezebel the way I was. You know what I'm saying? Same. Oh, same. Oh. Same. It was the same thing. 
Second marriage. I said, this is my second and last. I ain't doing this no more. Do I got to do this. Help I, me. Right? And I'm going to make this thing work. Yes. And the thing was that got me and the turning point was when my husband said the same thing my ex-husband said, you talk too much and you don't listen. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I heard this before. Exactly. And I was like, you know what? Mine was my my husband, my this this first the second marriage. He's more easier to deal with. Like he ain't he ain't putting up with it. Like I, I think because I made so many mistakes on that first marriage, the second marriage was like, you know what? Lord, please give my husband. Let him be humble enough to love on me and correct me right. Like don't holler at me and scream at me. Because I'm the kind of chick you holler at me, then I I, I rebel against. But if you love on me, it's easy to get my attention, right? Get my attention. And so God made him, well, you know what I'm saying? He's a tornado now, but he knows how to, it's easy for me to submit to him because he's so nice. Absolutely. Yeah. And the thing is, when we know, God shows us, I, I, I share with us that my husband is truly my purpose partner because he knows when to give me that room and he, that room to grow and do what I need to do. But at the same time, he knows to say, all right, that's enough. You're 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 crossing the line. And I re- <laughs> and I respect that. I, I, I love that. And, um, I, you know, I give an example like I, I had a moment where I kind of lost my temper. Right. And I called my husband like ah, not on him, but on somebody else. And he said, sometimes that happens and you need to. But then there were other times I lost my temper and he says, Maxine, now you tripping. Now, now, why, why you do that? Now, come on. Let, now, now, come on. So I need. <laughs> so I told him, I said, God, thank God that he is like, God bless me with him. And here's the here's the other part. My husband and I went to high school together. Oh, didn't like each other, though, Dr. Nikki. We ain't like each other. I, I mean, I don't know. Well, this is how I know God was together. Our classmates like, how that happen? We like that was God. That was totally him. You know when it's God. You know. You be knowing, like, for real. <laughs> totally God. So, exactly. So, it, it's it's been wonderful. So, that's how this whole thing about wife boss got came together. Because, like, you know, as a pastor's wife, it wasn't just me. It, it's so many women that that deal that they're, that's going through that. Like, they're, you're a boss. And a lot of my colleagues who are pastors is like, you know, how do you balance? How do you harmonize that whole thing of being a pastor you're making the decisions all that and when you home he's the head he's so you transition that and utilizing leadership skills at home so how do you do the, do that and transition that to be a good teammate so let's talk about white boss so what does that consist of white boss academy it's uh it's the coaching program that i have and it i what we do is i coach women who First, it started with women who were married, who were in leadership positions, but then just to help them get some clarity around their purpose. A lot of women are successful, but they don't feel fulfilled. Um, they feel like I, I got it going on, but it's something else missing. I, you know, I'm a leader here and I do this. I'm married. I got a good this and that, but I just don't feel fulfilled. So it started that way with married women. But then I had women who were single to say, wait, I'm in a relationship. I need help too. And what we do is I really just coach women on going through that process of finding purpose, of getting harmony, getting clarity around their careers, even in their relationships. And I am just so blessed to to see women just go from one place in their life to the next level. Um, Just if they take two steps forward, they're two steps ahead of where they were before. So I know that that's been a blessing. Mm, come on through, blessing. Come on, blessing. <laughs> We're so happy to have you on my show. I'm happy to, you know, we're part of the Power Up Summit. It's coming up. If you have not registered, listen, you're, you're missing out on some amazing tips, nuggets, relationships, networking um, opportunities to meet people like Maxine L. Johnson, people like Dr. Nikki, people like Kim um, Coles and Lisa Nichols. So, you got to register. It's not too late to do a listen. You got to step up. You got to step up to the plate and know that these people are being who they have called to be. God has anointed them for this time and season and get in where you fit in at. Listen, you got to register, register power of summit.com. Go register. It's absolutely free. It's cause you now tell them that Dr. Nick and Maxine sent me to register yeah. for the conference. Cause it's going, it's going down July the 14th through the 18th. Yes. Well, we appreciate you. So how do we find you? You can find me on at best way to find me is on Instagram, Maxine L. Johnson 
com and all of my information is there and you can follow me on instagram follow me and i will follow you back i love we got to share a network and just you know encourage and inspire one another to go to our next level in life there's always a purpose for each and every one of us wow well thank you so much for being a part of the show we got to bring you back we got to bring you back we got to bring you back so i'm a whole lot to get your information before you go but in the meantime let's say goodbye to our our listeners and watchers followers guys share this live go and subscribe to my channel it's all about networking because guess what in order for people to know you you got to be visible in order yeah. to be visible when you are visible you'll be making profits all the off that visibility we get that from current all yeah. day every day all day Take care, guys we'll see you next time thank you bye <laughs> Oh,